Let's go on a trip. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Tomorrow will be a long, long traveling day. Just pack my suitcase. Tomorrow, I will try to take my 49 euro ticket to the limit. I will be getting up pretty early tomorrow. I will go on a train. I will go on a lot of trains as I will try to go with my 49 euro ticket all the way to Kiel, which is in Schleswig-Holstein, about 80, 100 kilometers, something like that, north of Hamburg. I will use only regional trains. That's why the 49 euro ticket. So I do not have to buy an extra ticket to get up there. I have the ticket already. Let's see if this works. Come join me on the way, the 49 euro way, through all of Germany, up the way to Kiel. Let's go. So, 5.12 in the morning. I'm on my way to the S-Bahn, to the first connection. This will be the S-Bahn from uh, Berg am Leim here to Munich Central Station. It should be on time, so the day is on a good way. I woke up without needing my alarm clock, which was pretty surprising because it was used to set at 4.50 a.m. I made it. So, let's go. 49 euro riding through whole Germany. See you at the central station. Oh yeah, and I wanted to show you that. Berg am Leim station at 5.15 in the morning. It looks very peaceful. Not to compare with the chaos that normally is here. This is not the busiest station in the system, but during regular times this is pretty busy and I'm almost alone here right now. This will be a good day, I got a feeling. <laughs> so, now Central Station is next. So, first train worked. Welcome to Munich Central Station. The S-Bahn here was okay. It had three minutes delay, which took my 14 minute transfer time here. Sorry, 13 minutes down to 10. The train will now leave in seven minutes. Let's find the track. It should be track 26, which is luckily the closest to the entry exit here. So let's get it on. You don't see the place here that empty that often. Must be the time. Okay, here's my train. RE50 544 to Nürnberg Hauptbahnhof. I will ride it all the way to Nürnberg. It's two hours and 40 minutes. And there's already the difference to going with the ICE train. Because with the ICE train, this trip to Nürnberg would take one hour so almost triple the time let's see let's get a little walk a little further let's get a comfy seat try to have some rest on the way to Nuremberg what am I doing to myself taking this trip what am I doing <laughs> Let's go. I wanted to do a trip like this when the 9 euro ticket came out last year. Didn't manage it. In fact, I didn't use my 9 euro ticket at all to do trips I normally don't do. Making up for that today. Yeah, this is definitely not the newest, not the freshest, freshest train. A little bit smelly as well, but let's make the best out of it. Two and a half, hour, two and a half hours to Nuremberg.
All right. Nuremberg Central Station. I arrived on track five. My connection train should depart on track four, which is right here. 8.20 in the morning, so it's just in the rush hour. A lot of people, the train to here was relatively empty. So, let's see, I'll find my connection. Okay, the second transfer, the first out of Munich, worked perfectly. We were in Nuremberg absolutely on time. Now, in the next train, I was supposed to depart from uh, platform 4, which would have allowed me not to leave a platform, but the platform changed on short notice, but it was no problem. Train number 2, sorry, train number 3 is going. Next stop is in the state of Thüringen. Will be in about two hours. The next transfer should be comfortable. I have 20 minutes there. Let's see if it works. Okay. Third leg done. Just arrived in. Saalfeld, which is in Thüringen, so the former East Germany. Ah. It's been, I have to say that, a very comfortable ride so far. The first two legs are two of the longest ones. They're gone now. Made it. Let's hear a nice overview of a Saalfeld an der Saale station yeah this looks i like a normal station three platforms three island platforms six tracks and this train just brought me here from nuremberg my next train should be the one over there this one this will go to Erfurt. i have about 20 minutes until it departs <coughs> So this is a pretty quiet station and a pretty big station. Really surprised that it's that big in here. Two trains are waiting. These are the regional trains. And this will be the train that I'm taking now. It's, yeah, it's more a bus that's moving on rails than a train, but it will take me on the next way. So let's get on board. Like standing room only. Let's get it on. All right, we are here. Don't ask me. This is just a random small town between Erfurt and Gotha, but it has the advantage that I can transfer here for a regional express so not this train another train that will come in from this direction soon and the other train then will take me all the way to Göttingen which is in uh, Niedersachsen then already so a lot of people exiting here and they're all going over to the other platform so they all will transfer as well all right so Neu Dietendorf Thüringen. The train was small. I had a standing room only, but that was absolutely fine with me. After sitting for, oh, how long was it? Almost six hours. It was good to move, to stretch the legs a little bit, and standing was pretty good mode. So now, the first time on this trip, I'm leaving the station. I'll be back, yeah, <laughs> sure. But I have some minutes. My train will be here in about 10 minutes. 
So, some time to kill, some time to look around here at Neudietendorf station. Yeah, not much to see, but it is uh, an important transfer point today. So, let's go over to the other platform and check the next train. Up to now, everything on time, everything perfect. I hope it stays that way. See you on the next train. So, here on the train, train number five. Transfer number five will be in a few minutes. Up to this point, all trains were about on time. The last, uh, so all the regional trains were on the minute. Up to now, it worked perfectly. The train here, train number five, was a diesel train again from Neudietendorf all the way here to Göttingen. And yeah, let's see the next transfer and then Hannover will be the next stop. See you there. So, here I am, Göttingen. The train just behind me brought me here. There is no platform transfer needed. Just walk across the platform. The train to Hanover is right over there. It is this nice train by operated by Metronom, regional train operator here in northern Germany, here in Niedersachsen, which is the state I'm in right now. Ha Göttingen is a pretty busy station. It's a main transfer station. ICE trains are going here, like the one that's coming in over there. This is an ICE 4, most likely on its way to Hamburg. And there's another ICE train sitting over there on a neighboring platform, which is a little bit elevated. And here, platform uh, four and five, a little bit downhill, but it's nice. Very convenient transfer here from this class 612 train to this double-decker regional train. I will enjoy the ride. It was pretty comfy up to this point, no delays. Everything was good. I hope, really hope it stays that way. Let's see. So, let's jump on board the train to Hanover. There will be the next transfer. See you in Hanover or on the way. Next stop is reached. We are in Hanover, capital of Niedersachsen. I do not have much time here, just about 10 or 12 minutes, because we picked up a little bit of delay in going to Hanover. And I need to go to platform 4, which is yeah, right next door. That's good. Not as quiet as in some of the other transfer stations, but it can be busier. Okay, RE3, platform 4, that's fine, here we are. Ugh. Okay, that must be this train. Okay. Yeah, this is the metronome I came in with. And here is the next metronome. Should be the same train. Yeah, same looking train. And we will go to Hamburg. And this will be one of the longer stages. So, a little over two hours. but this will include a 20 minute break at yeah, an intermediate station in Uelzen. Don't know why this is done. Maybe regional traffic rights, something like that. Anyway, this train 
is next. Another transfer check. Another train check. Hanover Central Station. Fifteen forty. So okay, we have five minutes. Let's go. All right, ready to jump aboard. This will be my third double-decker train here out of Hanover today. I was always sitting at the top. Okay, let's go to the top again. Thank you. So let's go to Hamburg. Oh, what a mess. Welcome back to Hamburg. It's been a while since I've been here and I will not stay here for that long. Be precisely, I will look for the exit, have a smoke and then look for the next S-Bahn because my connection train doesn't leave from here. Due to construction, it leaves from Altona, which is the secondary Hamburg station. It's depending which road I will take with the S-Bahn, three or six stations away. So, let's go to Altona on the fastest way possible. The platform was so terribly busy Everybody was already waiting for the train because it continued to Bremen, which is also a very nice city. We've been there. And all the people were storming, trying to storm the train as soon as it arrived. What they forgot is that there were people on the train that wanted to get off. That was pretty interesting. So, Hamburg Central Station. On this corridor here, less busy than I expected. So let's just get out and come right back in after a smoke and get the train to Altona. See you. So now there was a little swing over by the S-Bahn from uh, Hamburg main station to Hamburg Altona. As mentioned, my connection train does not go from main station, although it's main station, yeah. Construction makes it depart from Altona, which is right here. And now, just a look here, the exit of the train station this looks very very nice and there is Hamburg Altona station make my way in there now for the last train of the day incredible how good this worked today so impressed I'm so impressed about what the DB Regio, DB Regio what Metronom and the other regional operators, what they did was impressive. The biggest delay ahead was five minutes, which is nothing. So let's find our track. So, in just a two minute walk from the last video, from the last piece of the video, I'm here and the tracks. Platform 7 and 8. This train is going to Wirst. I have no idea where that is. And the train on the other side. 
double decker regional train. This will go to Kiel. And the other part of the train will go to Flensburg, which is even further north. But yeah, I have not heard that many good things about Flensburg, but I have heard a lot of good things about Kiel. So I decided to take Kiel. I have almost 20 minutes until the train departs. Oh yeah, that's great. So let's hang out here on the platform a little bit and then board the train and go on the last ride of the day. I'm so proud this all worked. See you soon, Kiel. So, 14 hours and 47 minutes since I left the house. In about two minutes we will arrive at Kiel Hauptbahnhof, Kiel Sta Central Station. I made it. I made it. It's absolutely incredible. What a fantastic day. Long, but I absolutely loved it. Going through eight transfers and nine trains over the whole, almost the whole distance of Germany from the deep south, from Munich, here to the far north, to Kiel, to the Baltic Sea which you might see behind those buses there. I haven't seen the sea for quite a while. This will change today. This will change now. I booked a hotel. You can see it already over there, the Intercity Hotel. We'll spend the night over there. And tomorrow, well, let's see what I do. First check into the hotel, then grab something to eat and go to the sea. Well, the station doesn't look bad. The perspective from down here is pretty interesting. I will wait until the other guys have all left the train and then we will go. All right. Let's get out of here. RE7 from Altona to Kiel. Ah. Oh. What a day. What a day. And this really doesn't look bad. Nice medium uh, sized city. The uh, station hall looks cool. Coffee shop, salad shop, McDonald's, of course. Yeah, they have that. Now, let me get out and find my hotel. Yeah, I've seen it already, it's not far away. But anyway. Uh, yeah, I will take the main exit, why not? station really made it München to Kiel only on regional trains in one day uh, I hope I could show you some interesting things and some interesting trains and some interesting thoughts of mine yeah, I had a lot of time this day did a lot of reading did a lot of thinking did a lot of playing it was almost 15 hours I had to do something and now I will check into the hotel and thereafter let's see what the city will bring. Maybe I will make another video here, but I will not be here that long. I have to go to Berlin tomorrow 
and Mr. Saikapong asked me to be back home on Friday by 5 o'clock. So I said, yeah, we'll do that. And that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section below if you like more train adventures than this. I'm pretty sure I can do more train adventures uh, in the style of this one. Maybe not as long, maybe not alone. Maybe I take Mr. Cyclepunk with me and we will definitely find something. Let me know if you want to see that. In the meantime, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And see you soon back here on the channel. Have a good time. Goodbye.